Hey, happy Friday, and welcome back to Silver Lining Crypto. Once again, doing a quick uh, car video. Uh, boy, things looked um, good the past couple of days until obviously you woke up this morning. Um, boy, that was, uh, you, you know, I was just listening to somebody else on YouTube, and you know, uh, and again, you know, manipulation, you can't really blame it on, uh, you know, you can't blame it on the FUD, um, there, there's barely anything in the news today to really cause any type of FUD, um, or anything major to have something drop like this again, so there's obviously strings being pulled, I mean, uh, I thought that, I'm sorry, um, that yesterday was actually, well, two days ago, I actually picked up a little bag of something, and then yesterday, due to kind of the patterns I was seeing, and, and again, some of the research of some of these products coming out, and how well established these products are, and that's why things are so difficult because you know you have these projects like V Chain, and you have these product these projects like Cardano. You know, okay, Cardano may not be fully up and running. V Chain has been up and running for God knows how long. They have so many great products. Um, I mean, that's our in with China, uh, and um, but yet, I mean, I bought them when they were back at like one two cents. I mean, yes, it did skyrocket, but then it went down. Uh, I think it's at like seven cents right now. Um, but the bottom line is the ones that, you know, you should be doing well are not. And, you know, you kind of, well, well, for the most part, you know, I think products like Cardano are almost standing on their own two feet. You know, Polygon, um, I'm a huge fan of. Um, I, I personally believe it's definitely the best layer two solution out there, uh, in my opinion. Uh, but, um, you know, Polygon went all the way up to, or Matic went all the way up to, oh goodness, I think it was 250, something like that. That was also another one I picked up at a couple of pennies. Uh, and, um, but these are good projects. And um, I did consolidate actually my own portfolio. Um, wow, we were kind of in that consolidation phase. <laughs> um, and then I started accumulating some more, you know, dollar cost average, HODL and dollar cost average. And, you know, I'm just waiting patiently because, you know, I mean, I know in my gut that one of these days it's just going to really just get out of control in a good way. And I'm just hoping this summer is, and Florida gets pretty steamy, is going to be a very steamy summer in a good way. So that's what I'm hoping for. But uh, I also wanted to say, you know, I know a lot of people are getting nervous out there. Um, and, you know, there's no reason not to. I mean, you know, I'm not going to be one of these YouTube type people who tell you, you know, don't be nervous, don't be this, don't be that. I mean, you know, it's like throwing somebody in a swimming pool who's never been in a swimming pool before or never been swimming before and saying swim or you'll drown and you'll die. I mean, you know, it's not exactly like that. Um, but there are a lot of new people into the space um, that I feel like need to be um, taught, guided, um, and just uh, anything else to educate. And I'm even talking about your average stockbroker. I mean, you know, don't forget, you know, inside uh, information is illegal when it comes to stocks, but not when it comes to cryptos. So, you know, normally, you know, you see somebody have a good quarter like Walmart or whoever and their stock goes up. You know, something like, I don't know, um, here, let me just pick one. Hey, VeChain will use uh, again. 
you know, something like VE Chain that has all these projects, a multi-billion dollar company. I mean, they have so many uh, backers. I mean, you know, I firmly believe that they're going to be one of the couple that are going to be standing at the end. Uh, but, uh, you know, you guys just have to believe in the system, you know, like kind of like when you learn a sport, you know, like, you know, like golf, you know, I was never the best golfer, but once he changed my grip and everything, I mean, it felt so uncomfortable, but, and then once I got used to it, boom, I'm hitting the ball straight, you know, I mean, a good analogy, bad analogy, I hope you guys get it, but, uh, just, again, I'm not going to tell you, don't be worried, but what I will tell you is, you know, based on my experience, then, you know, again, I'm not an advisor. I'm not here to tell you to buy anything or sell anything. You know, I'm just, you know, conversating with you guys. Uh, but I believe that if everybody holds on and everyone can stay strong, right? And I think there's enough media outlets and social media outlets that we can get the word out where, you know, people just have to hold, you know, and guess what? If everybody held, the, the sharks are going to have a hard time pulling their crap out, off because, you know, one, it's going to cost them more money to do so. And two, there's never a guarantee for anything. I mean, look, look at what happened to Mark Cuban. I mean, personally, I don't think he lost $4 billion, but whatever. Um, but either way, I just wanted, you know, to wish you guys a nice green weekend, hopefully. Um, you know, one thing that we do need to watch out for. Sorry about that, guys. Um, other than the camera slipping. Uh, is the volume. Uh, the volume is very, very low. Um, that's very odd, you know, because, uh, and, and it's kind of more proof, I guess, because why is the volume so low, but yet every coin is down? Um, I mean, now it's about 4 p.m. Eastern time. Some of the coins started coming back up. I mean, but when I checked it earlier today and everything was down 12, 15 percent, like I'm like, like what, what, what's going on here? I mean, you, you know, uh, we were, and again, you guys know I'm not one to, you know, look at the charts or anything because I don't believe there is a chart made for this. But in terms of the, of the Wyckoff, there was a couple of great examples given. Um, and yeah, what it looks like is they're kind of trying to puzzle it in. Uh, but somebody did a four hour and it actually looked almost identical. Uh, but you know, but we should be at the bottom. I mean, and excuse me if I don't know the A, B, C, D, and E or whatever. But I mean, in my opinion, we should be at the final bottom going straight up you know, kind of to end that W all the way to the right, you know, and that should go on for three, four, five months, you know, and then bear market, if there even is a bear market, you know, uh, but I just wanted uh, just to say that because, you know, we could do this, you know, for us who have been in this for a while, uh, we believe in it, we know of the volatility of the industry and uh again with mass adoption and stuff going around or going on around the world you know like bitcoin being adopted by governments and i hope everyone tells uh what the the world monetary association or whatever they're called the wma or whatever um to mind their business you know, I mean, they, this is straight peer to peer. We don't need any middlemen. Um, we, we do need some regulation, though. There's no doubt about that. I mean, uh, otherwise, yes, there's going to be way too much fraud and way too much going on. But yes, I believe uh, in terms of currencies, yes. 
Um, but, uh, you know, and that's also one thing I would like to end this with is, you know, people have to realize that, you know, just because it's a cryptocurrency, you know, people hear crypto and they just think of money. Like, you know, crypto is, yes, some crypto is meant for currency, you know, um, some is meant for DeFi, some is meant for NFTs, I mean, some is meant for all, for some. So, you know, you just have to really look into the projects and understand them. I mean, some of these guys on YouTube, I mean, they're fantastic, you know, and yes, and they'll throw out a pick or two every now and then. Uh, but, you know, like I said, I always do my own research. I mean, if I'm going to lose money, I'm going to lose it because I lost it, not because I listened to somebody else. But um, anyway, I want to wish you guys a great weekend and I will see you next time.